Good morning, everyone. Happy Easter. So, happy Passover. Happy Sunday. So, um, me and my wife are holed up in here and with our doggy. And I wanted to do a reading and I'm like, yeah, okay, well, who am I? <laughs> who am I to give spiritual whatever advice? Well, I'm not. I'm just a, a vessel. So I said, I'm going to pull some cards. And uh, <laughs> one of the cards my buddy gave me was, you matter. And I'm like, well, of course I do. Why did you think I didn't? Yeah. He had a whole stack of them. He wanted to give me like 50 of them. Like, if I didn't get, he was just going to keep handing me cards. You matter, you matter, you matter. Okay. And it's not like the E equals MC squared. Different matter. Maybe it's not. And then my brother gave me compassion cards. See, the Mahayana instruction for ejection of consciousness at death is five strengths. How you conduct yourself is important. Okay, well, I've never even heard of that. This is why my brother gave it to me. He's a, he's a Buddhist priest. So, back side of it. Yikes, couldn't I have picked one that was less wordy? When you are dying, practice the five strengths based on becoming very familiar with them while you are alive. Strong determination. Familiarization. The positive seed. Reproach. And aspiration. You may want to pause this. I'm not going to read it all here, but you may want to pause it and just take that in for a little bit. Okay. So, um, as we move on, let's talk um, up to the cards about... What we need to learn, what we need to learn right now in this crazy, crazy time. So let's pull out a, um, a shaman card, shall we? Mystical shaman. <laughs> I swear, I I was shuffling. I was shuffling this. Um, this is the name of the deck, the mystical shaman. So there are there are things that are not of this plane that are available to us, this plane of existence, this planet, that are available to us if we just stop, breathe, and listen. The, the key to this, as I am learning, so uh, I, I don't have like the key to unlock everything, but the key to the mystical shaman is intention. So, when we want to go into the, another plane of existence, we can. We can reach the spirit world through intention, through prayer, through um, gratitude. Big one, big one. We got to be grateful for what we have. And when we're looking at the planet today, 
so many people are starting to realize, wow, this is a really cool place, my house. <laughs> but you looked at, at news reports and you can see, um, you can see that the smog is lifted in a lot of the cities. Okay, so while there's all this sadness and death, there's also this rebirth. And right now we're not focusing on the rebirth because we're too entrenched in, in the pandemic. And it is just, you know, a virus is just, they're all over. It's a cycle of life. So we're trying to maintain some kind of control. I'm afraid that we don't really have the control. Anyway, there that is. Let's pull some cards. Um, after my little preachiness, I didn't mean to be too preachy. Dang, I talked for five minutes on that. So let's, uh, let's pull some cards. Okay, so what do we need to know about controlling this virus? What do we need to know about controlling this virus? Okay. Tower was on the bottom when I was looking to see if... Uh, my deck was right side up. So what do we need to know about controlling this virus? Well, we need to know that we don't have much control, do we? Okay. Well, there that is. The Ten of Cups. We are um, hoping that we have it under control, that we can get to the other side. It's going to be a battle. We are getting beat up. And I like to see this as rebirth. However, it's death. So we're still dealing with this. I Obviously, I mean, you don't need me to say that. So we're still dealing with it, but there's there's hope here. We got hope, okay? So how are we dealing with controlling this virus? We're not, right? It's it's causing a lot of problem, it, and and it's not economic. Well, it is economic problem, but it's more of a a physical, spiritual thing that needs to to be reborn okay what does spirit want us to know what does spirit want us to know about lessons learned whenever I think about lessons I go oh man this is going to be hard <laughs> this is going to hurt can't I just go to the beach and have fun no, what are the lessons learned? You mean I got to go to school? Yeah, you do. Aren't I too old for school? No, you're not. Okay. What does spirit want us to know about lessons learned? And this one came out. Okay. Lessons learned, the Empress. Um, this is a card all about, you know, giving birth to a new idea, to, to be comforting, to be, um, to be one with, with new ideas, new births, new things growing. In our lessons learned, well, there's still so much that we don't know. It's so hidden from us. So, 
you know, we have to be okay with that to a certain extent. And then, <laughs> yikes, but there's misinformation coming out and we're being tied to it. So is this the news, the 24 hour news cycle? I think it could, that's a big part of it. We need to let that go so much. We get so focused in on, um, oh, this is it. It's on TV. It must be true. It's on the internet. It must be true. It's, it, it's in the devil's mouth. It must be true, right? But we're chained to it. But we can easily take those chains off. And in this cart deck, the chains aren't even on. We're just still there. We're having a drink, right? So, I don't know. We need to step away from that. And this is what crossed us. The Seven of Swords. Thief in the night. Stealing away from things. So, our world is not going to be the same. You know, we are going to have some things taken away from us. And it'll be okay. It'll. We just have to accept this new way of, of living, this new birth, this new world order. And we can do that. All right? It's just going to take a little bit of time. And let's see as the last card goes. Um, what is our enchanted path that we need to take? And again, another oracle at the end. What is the enchanted path for us as we leave on this beautiful Sunday? Hmm. Sad embrace reversed. Sad embrace, sorry, reversed. So upright, this is an indication that we have a lot of sadness coming up ahead. Get ready. But being in reversed, it tells a whole different story. It's still not a happy, happy card, right? But it's like, don't be a victim of this sadness. Let it go. Learn from this what we can and move forward. We don't, if we keep focusing on the sadness, then we're not going to be able to move forward. There is so much to be grateful for. So much. And even though we can't see a lot of that right now, we have to look past the sadness, past our um, our losses, past the, the things that are playing on our mind that are keeping us chained to this devil. And it's going to be hard. But we have to be like the thief in the night. Take what we have that is good and really take it. Be that thief in the night. Take what we have that is good and focus on that. Focus on that we now have cleaner air to breathe. Focus now that, you know, we have a home that we can live in, a bed to sleep on. Now, for the homeless, well, they're not watching this, but... There's even, there's even things to be grateful for there. And I'm not quite sure what that is because I haven't lived that life. But it's there. You just got to find it. A um, good friend of mine is a cop that works for the, with the homeless. And, you know, he, they, they do have a home. They do have a place. Sometimes they need more. So, in ending this, I think, um, be grateful. Be grateful what, for what you have. 
don't listen to the news that much. And we'll end on that card. In this card. Thank you guys for watching. Be good to another. To another. <laughs> Be good to one another. And um, happy Easter. Happy Passover. Happy Bunny Day. I don't know. Bye.